In electrical engineering, the maximum power transfer theorem states that, to obtain maximum external power from a source with a finite internal resistance, the resistance of the load must equal the resistance of the source as viewed from its output terminals. Moritz von Jacobi published the maximum power transfer theorem around 1840. It is also referred to as Jacobi's law. The theorem results in maximum power transfer across the circuit, and not maximum efficiency. If the resistance of the load is made larger than the resistance of the source, then efficiency is higher, since a higher percentage of the source power is transferred to the load, but the magnitude of the load power is lower since the total circuit resistance goes up. If the load resistance is smaller than the source resistance, then most of the power ends up being dissipated in the source, and although the total power dissipated is higher, due to a lower total resistance, it turns out that the amount dissipated in the load is reduced. The theorem states how to choose so as to maximize power transfer the load resistance, once the source resistance is given. It is a common misconception to apply the theorem in the opposite scenario. It does not say how to choose the source resistance for a given load resistance. In fact, the source resistance that maximizes power transfer is always zero, regardless of the value of the load resistance. The theorem can be extended to alternating current circuits that include reactants, and states that maximum power transfer occurs when the load impedance is equal to the complex conjugate of the source impedance. Topic: <laughs> Maximizing power transfer versus power efficiency. The theorem was originally misunderstood notably by Joule to imply that a system consisting of an electric motor driven by a battery could not be more than 50% efficient since, when the impedances were matched, the power lost as heat in the battery would always be equal to the power delivered to the motor. In 1880 this assumption was shown to be false by either Edison or his colleague Francis Robbins Upton, who realized that maximum efficiency was not the same as maximum power transfer. To achieve maximum efficiency, the resistance of the source whether a battery or a dynamo could be or should be made as close to zero as possible. Using this new understanding, they obtained an efficiency of about 90% and proved that the electric motor was a practical alternative to the heat engine. The condition of maximum power transfer does not result in maximum efficiency. If we define the efficiency eta as the ratio of power dissipated by the load, RL, to power developed by the source, Vs, then it is straightforward to calculate from the above circuit diagram that eta equals R L R L plus R S equals 1 1 plus R S R L display style eta equals frac r underscore mathrm l r underscore mathrm l plus r underscore mathrm s equals frac one one plus r underscore mathrm s r underscore mathrm l. Consider three particular cases. If r l equals r s display style r underscore mathrm l equals r underscore mathrm s Eta equals zero point five. Display style eta equals zero five. If R L infinity display style R underscore mathrm L to inf t or R S equals zero display style R underscore mathrm S equals zero. Eta equals one. Display style eta equals one. If R L equals zero. Display style R underscore mathrm L equals zero. Then eta equals zero. Display style eta equals zero. The efficiency is only 50% when maximum power transfer is achieved, but approaches 100% as the load resistance approaches infinity, though the total power level tends towards zero. Efficiency also approaches 100% if the source resistance approaches zero, and 0% if the load resistance approaches zero. In the latter case, all the power is consumed inside the source unless the source also has no resistance, so the power dissipated in a short circuit is zero. Topic. Impedance matching 
A related concept is reflectionless impedance matching. In radio frequency transmission lines, and other electronics, there is often a requirement to match the source impedance at the transmitter to the load impedance such as an antenna to avoid reflections in the transmission line that could overload or damage the transmitter. Topic. Calculus based proof for purely resistive circuits See Cartwright for a non calculus based proof. In the diagram opposite, power is being transferred from the source, with voltage V and fixed source resistance Rs, to a load with resistance Rl, resulting in a current I by Ohm's law. I is simply the source voltage divided by the total circuit resistance I equals V R. S plus R L display style I equals frac V R underscore mathrm S plus R underscore mathrm L. The power place dissipated in the load is the square of the current multiplied by the resistance P L equals I two R L equals V R S plus R L two R L equals V two R S two R L plus two R S plus R L Display style P underscore mathrm L equals I carrot two R underscore mathrm L equals left frac V R underscore mathrm S plus R underscore mathrm L right carrot two R underscore mathrm L equals frac V carrot two R underscore mathrm S carrot two R underscore mathrm L plus two R underscore mathrm S plus R underscore mathrm L the value of RL for which this expression is a maximum could be calculated by differentiating it, but it is easier to calculate the value of RL for which the denominator R S 2 R L plus 2 R S plus R L Display style R underscore mathrm S carrot two R underscore mathrm L plus two R underscore mathrm S plus R underscore mathrm L is a minimum. The result will be the same in either case. Differentiating the denominator with respect to R L D D R L R S two R L plus Two R S plus R L equals minus R S two R L two plus one Display style frac D Doctor underscore Mathrum L left R underscore Mathrum S carrot two R underscore Mathrum L plus two R underscore Mathrum S plus R underscore Mathrum L right equals R underscore Mathrum S carrot two R underscore Mathrum L carrot two plus one. For a maximum or minimum, the first derivative is zero, so R S two R L two equals one Display style R underscore mathrm S carrot two R underscore mathrm L carrot two equals one or R L equals plus or minus R S Display style R underscore mathrm L equals PMR underscore mathrm S in practical resistive circuits, RS and RL are both positive, so the positive sign in the above is the correct solution. To find out whether this solution is a minimum or a maximum, the denominator expression is differentiated again. D 2 D R L 2 R S 2 R L plus 2 R S plus R L 
equals two R S two R L three Display style D carrot two over Doctor underscore Mathram L carrot two left R underscore Mathram S carrot two R underscore Mathram L plus two R underscore Mathram S plus R underscore Mathram L right equals two R underscore Mathram S carrot two R underscore Mathram L carrot three. This is always positive for positive values of R S Display style R underscore Mathram S and L display style r underscore math from L, showing that the denominator is a minimum and the power is therefore a maximum when r s equals r L display style r underscore math from s equals r underscore math from L. The above proof assumes fixed source resistance. R s display style r underscore math from s when the source resistance can be varied, power transferred to the load can be increased by reducing R S display style R underscore text R M S. For example, a 100 volt source with an R S display style R underscore text R M S of 10 omega display style 10 tilde omega. Will deliver 250 watts of power to a 10 omega display style 10 tilde omega load, reducing R S display style R underscore text R M S to zero omega display style zero tilde omega increases the power delivered to 1,000 watts. Note that this shows that maximum power transfer can also be interpreted as the load voltage being equal to one half of the Thevenin voltage equivalent of the source. Topic: In reactive circuits, the power transfer theorem also applies when the source and/or load are not purely resistive. A refinement of the maximum power theorem says that any reactive components of source and load should be of equal magnitude but opposite sign. See below for a derivation. This means that the source and load impedances should be complex conjugates of each other. In the case of purely resistive circuits, the two concepts are identical. Physically realizable sources and loads are not usually purely resistive, having some inductive or capacitive components, and so practical applications of this theorem, under the name of complex conjugate impedance matching, do, in fact, exist. If the source is totally inductive capacitive, then a totally capacitive inductive load, in the absence of resistive losses, would receive 100% of the energy from the source but send it back after a quarter cycle. The resultant circuit is nothing other than a resonant LC circuit in which the energy continues to oscillate to and fro. This oscillation is called reactive power. Power factor correction, where an inductive reactance is used to balance out. A capacitive one, is essentially the same idea as complex conjugate impedance matching although it is done for entirely different reasons. For a fixed reactive source, the maximum power theorem maximizes the real power P delivered to the load by complex conjugate matching the load to the source. For a fixed reactive load, power factor correction minimizes the apparent power S and unnecessary current conducted by the transmission lines, while maintaining the same amount of real power transfer. This is done by adding a reactance to the load to balance out the load's own reactance, changing the reactive load impedance into a resistive load impedance. Topic. Proof In this diagram, AC power is being transferred from the source, with phasor magnitude voltage V S V underscore S peak voltage and fixed source impedance z s display style z underscore mathram s to a load with impedance z l display style z underscore mathram l resulting in a phasor magnitude current i display style i i display style i is simply the source voltage divided by the total circuit impedance i equals v s 
Z S plus Z L Display style I equals V underscore mathram S over Z underscore mathram S plus Z underscore mathram L. The average power P L Display style P underscore mathram L dissipated in the load is the square of the current multiplied by the resistive portion, the real part R L Display style R underscore mathram L at the load impedance P L equals I R M S two R L equals one two I two R L equals one two V S Z S plus Z L two R L equals one two V S two R L R S plus R L two plus X S plus X L two display style begin aligned P underscore mathram L and equals I underscore mathram R M S carrot two R underscore mathram L equals one over two I carrot two R underscore mathram L equals one over two left V underscore mathram S over Z underscore mathram S plus Z underscore mathram L right carrot two R underscore mathram L and equals one over two V underscore mathram S carrot two R underscore Mathram L over R underscore Mathram S plus R underscore Mathram L carrot two plus X underscore Mathram S plus X underscore Mathram L carrot two end aligned where the resistance R S Display style R underscore Mathram S and reactance X S Display style X underscore Mathram S are the real and imaginary parts of Z S Display style Z underscore Mathram S and X L Display style X underscore Mathram L is the imaginary part of Z L Display style Z underscore Mathram L to determine the values of R L Display style R underscore Mathram L and X L Display style x underscore mathram l. Since v s display style v underscore mathram s r s display style r underscore mathram s and x s display style x underscore mathram s a fixed for which this expression is a maximum. We first find for each fixed positive value of L display style r underscore mathram L the value of the reactive term x L display style x underscore mathram L for which the denominator r s plus r L two plus x s plus x L two Display style R underscore Mathram S plus R underscore Mathram L carrot two plus X underscore Mathram S plus X underscore Mathram L carrot two is a minimum. Since reactances can be negative, this denominator is easily minimized by making X L equals minus X S Display style x underscore mathram l equals x underscore mathram s. The power equation is now reduced to p l equals one two v s two r l r s plus r l two 
Display style p underscore mathrm l equals one over two v underscore mathrm s carrot two r underscore mathrm l over r underscore mathrm s plus r underscore mathrm l carrot two, and it remains to find the value of r l display style r underscore mathrm l, which maximizes this expression. However, this maximization problem has exactly the same form as in the purely resistive case, and the maximizing condition. L equals R S display style R underscore mathrm L equals R underscore mathrm S can be found in the same way. The combination of conditions R L equals R S display style R underscore mathrm L equals R underscore mathrm S X L equals minus x s display style x underscore mathrm l equals x underscore mathrm s can be concisely written with a complex conjugate the asterisk as z l equals z s display style z underscore mathrm l equals z underscore mathrm s caret asterisk equals equals notes <laughs>